Okay, in this video, we're going to launch Unreal Engine. So if you haven't already done so, you should have installed the Epic Launcher. Click on Open, and when you'll see it open, this will open. Uh, you should also install uh, and click this button and install it. And that'll take about an hour. So you need to usually do this before uh, you start doing the project and working with it. So I always plan that ahead of time. And in my case, I've already installed it. And I'm going to use 4.2, 4.3. Uh, if you can use 4.2, 5.3, go ahead. Uh, there's a little glitch on my computer, so that's kind of why I'm using that, uh, which is a reminder that you should always test stuff before you go and use it, okay? So, um, you know, if you're going to do this with students, you should uh, spend, uh, you know, a couple hours uh, figuring it out and doing it briefly by yourself to make sure everything works. And in particular with school computers, there's sometimes security settings that you need to I work with uh, your administration on to make sure everything works. So I'll click launch uh, and it will create uh, the new project or begin to start. The first time you use this, it'll be a little bit slower. And in our case, there's four different, uh, different items that we could use to create. And we're gonna just go with the game version. And in here, there's again, a lot of different projects, but it's really important that students stick to the blank template. So we're gonna click on that. And in the blank template, uh, you know, you, this depends on your school computers, but it won't make that big of a difference if you just go and leave that as 2D uh, ray tracing disable. And make sure you have with starter content, okay? So I'm going to start this one as uh, my project concept art, no spaces, okay? Um, and you're going to click create the project. So I'll briefly walk you around and there's a, this is the viewport and this is where we do most of our work. And I will uh, show you how to delete a few of these items in a minute. Uh, with the G key, you can also get rid of all this other extra items that are important that we'll be using later. So G as in George, all right? So uh, below here we have what is our content browser. So all the content that's currently in our game is in here. And you can find, for example, the chairs are actually right there. So if I delete them, I can go get some more if I needed them for some reason. Uh, you can also create new folders, uh, you know, that as you go, sometimes you want to organize yourself differently. So I created one called stuff. I'll just delete it for now, but I just wanted to show you you can do that. Um, I also want to show you that anything that's in the scene, when you click on it, under the detail panel, that item is there with a lot of settings related to it. So watch when I click the, the floor, so that changes to the floor. So a lot of the settings, and if I put the G key, so even this item uh, has all its own settings. So for now, don't worry too much. I know there's a lot there. I mean, this is a program that's used in the game industry to make real games that are used and heavy duty. So, uh, but having said that, uh, it's quite possible to use it in high school. I use it in, even in grade 10 classes. Um, I think it's uh, just for you to get familiar with it at first. So uh, what I want to do is, and this this item here, when you click on it in the world outliers, this has all the items that are in your world that show up over here. So you may want to, uh, but really I just want to start by showing you how to delete stuff. So we're going to click on these chairs, delete, 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 delete. So you see when I delete it, it deletes it from the scene and there's this, I uh, don't need that either. So there's nothing left. If I press the G key, uh, you see all the things that I actually want to keep. So we're pretty much ready to continue uh, with the creation of our project. Um, the goal of this video was just to get you to understand some of the basics. I'll go over some of the turn. This is the, uh, the modes panels. So we're going to be working in the landscape mode, and we're also going to be working in the vegetation mode eventually. This is the content browser where we import stuff. This is the details panel whenever you click on something in the viewport. And this is all our items that are in the world outlier. One thing that's really cool with the world outlier, if you're looking for an item, for example, like the sky box or the sky light, so you can click on it and it'll show up. So it's a very powerful uh, feature to search. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know.